Google launched AI inside all of its workspace products and it's insane. But if you don't use it, you're going to be falling behind in 2024. So I'll show you all the new features they've launched, how your favorite app is now different and how you can access it today. So by the end of this video, you'll be a Google Gemini in workspace expert. Number one, docs. As you can see, this is now how we're greeted. We have a help me write, meeting notes, email draft, and more. So let's just click on help me write. It actually gives some recommendations here, popping up one after the other. Let's prompt it a pitch deck for an AI tool that makes AI tools. And this is how it looks like. The title, problem, solution, benefits. And if I'm happy with it, I can click on insert. And just like that, it's literally in the doc. You even have a tool name here where you can insert different fields that will have the exact same input, which I've never seen before. AI tool maker. And just like that, all the three different ones got updated. I can also see that we have a button to the left here that maybe we can change exactly what is going on inside of the paragraphs. So let's say I don't actually like these benefits. Let's click on AI write. And here we open a bunch of different options for us to use. For example, tone, formal, casual, summarize, bulletize, elaborate, shorten, rephrase. Let's actually click on rephrase. It slightly changed all of them and we can click on replace. Let's try another one that might be a little bit harder. I'm gonna click on help me write. The prompt is a list of stories from Greek mythology with relevant sources. Can it actually do sources? Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, it does have sources literally to the book insert no links though. But if these are actually correct, that is very impressive. Now, what if I actually want to hear the story of Pandora? Can I just, I'm going to say, write me the story of Pandora saying I'm unable to extract the request data. Let's see if I can just write under it. Help me write the story of Pandora. Here we go. In Greek mythology, Pandora is the first woman created by the gods. Writing inside of docs has never been easier. I can't wait to show you what the rest will do. Number two, Gmail. Say, for example, you get a long email like this and you click on reply. Now you have this new help me write in the bottom. Click that. I'm going to write summarize this email in bullet points a lot easier instead of having to read this entire email. The second thing is that it obviously can help you write a reply. So I'm going to write write an email politely declining their offer, but keep it open for potential collaboration in the future. Click on create. And it's even referring to the email, like expand our partnership beyond YouTube. That's what they said here. Like let's extend our partnership beyond YouTube. Now, if you don't like it, you can always click on either recreate or refine inside of the refinement button. We have formalize, elaborate or shorten. So let's click on elaborate and it's a little bit longer. It's not like a crazy amount longer. What about shorten? I just click on insert. It's right there, ready for you to send. So email just got a lot easier, but there are two more buttons here, like set up a time to meet, offer times you're free. You can see that Google Calendar is now loading on the side. If you have your calendar connected, you will have a lot of different meetings and stuff right here, but you can drag this right here to say, this is the time that I'm actually available. And then you can click on next title, your event and everything needed, like including Google meet the availability and you just click on add to email. Now, whoever you're talking with can select any of these times to meet with you. Number three sheets. Now, before we get to the rest of it, if you're looking to monetize your telegram group, look no further than tribute. You can easily and securely monetize your telegram channel or a group. There are two main ways to do it. First, they have subscriptions or a paid membership group. You can create separate group chats with only your fans on different topics and charge for the membership. The second way to monetize is through donations. Just add the donation button from tribute to your channel or group and let your fans pay when 
they appreciate your work. Content creators are making thousands of dollars per month using this tool. It's safe because it's a verified bot. It's a native to Telegram monetization service, which means that the interface reflects Telegram and your subscribers don't even have to leave the app. It supports the majority of credit cards and the commission is only 10% with no hidden payments. So go to tribute.tg by clicking the link in the description down below so you can monetize your Telegram channel. Thanks to Tribute for sponsoring this section of the video. Number three. Sheets. So your new Sheets experience only have one new button, and that is help me organize right next to the menus. It looks like this, and as you can see, kitchen remodel task list, marketing campaign material tracker. So this helps you a lot to make a custom template. As you can see, if I write gay budget for a family of five, you can see that it's starting to update in the left side, and this is how it looks like when it's finished. I can just click on insert. And as you can see, we have all of the template basically. Income, expenses, category is already done for you, like clothing. It's even estimating what you're actually cost. So let's try another example. Click help me organize again. And let's actually do something like a travel itinerary. So here is the prompt for Milan, Italy. And there you have it. It actually created not five days, but four days. That might be a limitation of the software right now, but it's actually pretty impressive. Like arrive in Milan, go from the airport, take an Uber ride or taxi to your hotel, leave your luggage and freshen up, go to the main cathedral in Milan. So I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. Let's try one more example. Let's ask it to make a YouTube and TikTok content planner for one week. Here you go. It actually created Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and fun cat fact. Let's see what it actually did. To make a DIY cat bed, what to feed your cat, how to groom your cat, most common cat diseases. This could absolutely be your new brainstorming friend. The con here is that it does only have the template that we can generate from scratch. It doesn't actually enable us to edit from the initial template right here, as well as being able to do complicated formatting. I believe they're working on this now and will come in the next update. Remember to subscribe for that. Number four, slides. So we're now inside of slides and you might be wondering what's different. Now, the main thing that they've changed is that they've added image generation with Gemini. So let's test it out like a car driving through the Austrian Alps. We can also click on add style like photography, background, vector art. Actually, let's do photography and create. That took about 20 seconds. And here are the different generations that we got. If I click on them, it just adds directly into the image. The same here as well. I have to say that they actually do look pretty good. I have seen that this is not the best image generator that we have, for example, Dolly, Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion being better. However, it's not as bad as I thought. Let's keep going. I think humans are the hardest things for them to do. Tested on a gorgeous Norwegian woman at the top of the mountain. Let's add no style and click on create. They did have some controversy around it, so I guess that's fine. Let's try a teddy bear sitting on top of a skateboard in Times Square. And here are the generations. It's again, a lot better than I thought. It's not the best, but if you would have this in a presentation, people wouldn't really care that much about it being like the highest of the highest quality. So this is pretty good job. Now, the main con here is comparing it to Microsoft Copilot. They can actually create entire slides. With Google Slides, you can actually only create images. So that is the difference right now. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm still pretty happy with this improvement. Number five, Google Meet. If I enter a new meeting, clicking on start instant meeting, you can immediately see that we have new caption languages and translation. There's also a new visual effects button, but since I don't have that many people in the meet, I want to show you a video. And to what will apply studio lighting to your video, allowing you to change its location, color and intensity. So you look great in any setting. With automatic translated captions, Duet knows that I prefer English 
and in real time, it translates your first speaker from Swedish to English and our second speaker from Chinese to English, just like a universal translator. Duet now helps you bring your notes to life with real-time teleprompting, which uses live speech recognition to follow your voice and guide you through your notes one line at a time. With the new Take Notes For Me feature, Duet captures notes, action items, and even video snippets in real time. If you join late, Duet will display a summary of what's happened so far. With a 10 For Me, you can now send Duet to the meeting. Perhaps you have questions or comments that you'd like service in the meeting on your behalf. You can type them in beforehand, and when the meeting begins, Duet will ensure everyone sees it. It's part of the conversation. You'll get a copy of the notes doc when it's over, so you know what happened and if they gave you any action items. So you can now see how AI in your meetings can help you be more productive. Number six, Google Chat. So if you don't know what Google Chat is, it's basically a Slack. It's meant for a place where you can work together with people, right? So you might have tried Microsoft Teams, you might have tried Slack. You can now say the cutting edge, with smart features powered by Duet AI, which is Gemini. You can do the jump to button, you can do at Duet, and then summarize what I've missed, which helps you stay up to date. And you can see on the left side with the spaces, increasing members, and as you can see, the emoji <laughs> emojis link up, kind of like Discord in a sense, where you can actually have a meeting inside of the chat as well, and now, you have the at symbol, you can kind of connect with the slides, the docs, the sheets, and everything you have inside of Drive with the built-in security, of course. They're focusing heavy on making this product one of the better ways for you to connect with your team. So this looks like a good solution so far. We'll see how it ends up, but welcome to the new era of Google Chat. Number seven. Gemini for Workspace. So as you can see, I'm on Gemini and this is using Gemini Ultra, the most advanced LLM that Google is producing. And you can see that when I have the settings and extensions, we have the Google Workspace integration. What is my latest email in Gmail? You can see that it's trying to search through my Google Workspace and assessing emails. And then it will say that it literally found my last email. And if I click on load more, you can literally see the last couple of emails and I can keep loading more to see everything inside of Gemini. The same goes if I search for files. Like for example, what is the latest doc that I made? You can see that the latest document you created was today, February 29th, 2024. And the document is empty. Maybe if I had something inside of it and I can even load more documents. To me, this is a huge game changer as you have one space that controls all of it. For example, if I say send an email to this email, where the subject line is regarding our last meeting. And the text is, hey, I loved our last meeting. I'm available, yada, yada. It's currently unable to send emails on my behalf, but just one step down the line, I believe this is exactly how we will be sending emails, how we interact with docs, maybe even how we interact with our team. But you might be wondering, what's the price? So there are actually two different ways to get access. As you can see, I'm inside of the admin workspace panel right here, and I have two different settings, for example, Gemini Business or Gemini Enterprise. But you have a different way to go in, which is the private way or the personal account. And you do that by going to Gemini through a personal Gmail account. And then you can see you have the Gemini advanced upgrade that gives you everything essentially the same, except you also do get two terabytes of storage and other premium benefits. So you now know how all of Google's tools have changed forever. Which one is your favorite? Drop it in the comments below. If you wanna see me compare Gemini Pro versus ChatGPT. Click on the video on the screen now and I'll see you in the next video.